What's up, YouTube? We create attention to generate generate attention. No flex zone. Anytime you flex, you're creating attention to generate attention. If you know the tensions that you that are created inside you, then you know how to tug on those strings externally. How to annoy people. How to do things like that. So creating attention generates attention. So when we're talking about being tense and needing to vent and uh, just in general being wound up like most of us have, have been or are in this uh, reality that we've created subconsciously, um, again, it just comes down to the control of the breath, the, the maintenance of the pH. Again, your temperament is controlled by your temperature. So when it comes to screaming or screaming off I guess probably why I play basketball too another reason why I play basketball again with the cardio too and your heart the connection with heart and lungs there and longevity it's just you have to let certain things out you can't hold on to them and that's why I, you know, I have the 3 minute chakra alignment video ah you so e son som that that right there that is basically just to keep you from ripping people's heads off or having burst of emotions. So where you vent and exhaust in that way and where it's not balanced. So you might have that moment where you actually bring it on. You actually bring on the stress and the tension just so you can vent in a subconscious way. You might miss your exit, exit on purpose but not know you're doing it. Or you might pick up a bunch of things in a fluster manner or if you're looking for something you create more mess for yourself to look for more things later it's just so that you can scream and vent it out you create this on your own circumstance that because yourself knows what you need to do is vent so you create the circumstance unconsciously where you suffocate yourself to where you have to scream instead of you know, instead of an ebb and flow where you control the, I shouldn't say suffocation, but the, the lack of the inhale. When you're exhaling or, you know, you know, in that state where you're not inhaling, that is, you know, more so of a balance than going a whole bunch of shallow breaths. You know, we're going through a bunch of shallow breaths, a bunch of short breaths that never make it past here. You can feel it fill up this area and create pockets, too, and not go all the way down and funnel back up because you're not breathing from your diaphragm, from your abdomen, like babies do. So, again, this throws off the whole the whole circadian rhythm because everything's thrown off. The heartbeat's thrown off, the, 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 the craniosacral rhythm, the rhythm of spinal fluid from the brain to the, uh, the sacral region, that's all thrown off. So everything is thrown off from the breathing. So we create these, these moments for ourselves subconsciously sometimes to where we are forcing ourselves to vent instead of just realizing like okay I'm creating this dead end here to where I have to scream or whatever just gradually release and gradually start venting consciously you know life will balance itself out sometimes you gotta scream and, and basketball is what I use honestly as far as like being able to scream and it being like appropriate so uh, you know it's just just know, and then it comes down to knowing that internal voice too. Like when you're tired, you gotta know when you're tired. You gotta know when to use certain energies. It's just like money management, rest management. It's all the same thing. Energy management, you know. And again, that internal voice, get in touch with it. And someone that touches your that part of you that might be that external source, who is really just a piece of you. Doesn't matter what color they come in either. You know, all this type of stuff. The people, like that's why. We can look at Custom Auto and Mike Tyson. What is it? Why, why? Why is there such a divine connection between these two people that supposedly have no physical resemblance? There is a, there's a connection there. You know, there's definitely a deep connection there. So it doesn't really matter how a person looks. Whoever you're projecting as this external force that is that pushes you and connects with that internal voice to push you. Or that, that, you know, that voice that knows, you know, that you might get in touch with when you're down and you just call them to know when to rest. Like, man, I need to, you know, call my mom or something. 
because you know she's soothing you know what i mean I'm, I'm in a resting mood i need somebody to promote the resting inside of me when you could just skip all of that all the external reaching and manage your own energy energy in your own space because that's all it is the management of energy and space if you manage those two things that's really the only real currency or what's that one uh, cheesy quote the only real currency in this world is what you share with someone when you're not cool might be true I don't know so yeah it's just about controlling the, the vent controlling just being you know just just being the uh, the vent being the doorway Cause that's all the body really is it's a doorway you don't know in and out you you are just the door what is in and what is out